What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Winter Circle Sports Podcast, episode 11. The Yanks just wrapped up a three-game series against the Rays, where they took two games. Narnie will be telling us about that later. I'm going to knock the Mets out of the way because we had a two-game series with the Astros. Flew right down there from New York um, after our final game with the Marlins and played that night. Um, going into the series, which was, like I said, a short one, two games, Jordan Alvarez was questionable with a hand injury. He ended up hitting three home runs in the two games, proving to uh, the coaching staff and the trainers that there was nothing wrong with his hand. Uh, the first game, Trevor Williams, who is the uh, bottom guy in our rotation right now, filling in for Scherzer when he's out. Um, he wasn't able to uh, keep them at bay. Uh, like I said, Alvarez hit a home run off him, and the bullpen wasn't any help. Uh, Chase and Shreve coming in and giving him four runs of his own after Williams gave three. So uh, that game was a wash. Game two, we were hoping for a little bit better of a performance from my guy, Cookie Carrasco, who absolutely got bombarded in the first inning, gave up four runs before recording an out, uh, back-to-back home runs off Alvarez, at Alvarez and Bregman back-to-back home runs in the first inning so that game later Cookie would take himself out of the game in the third inning just another pitcher for the Mets to go down um, that makes it four guys now uh, that are out and not playing for us right now are four best pitchers questionably so um, it sucks to see Mets lose both games we're heading to Miami uh, bad two games all right, now I don't want to sell you dick, but at some point you got to think these Mets pitchers are being a bunch of pussies, right? There's no way. Every time they get shelled, they magically have to come out of the game. Yeah, my ass. <laughs> yeah, I honestly I hope that that's the case. Like that's not really offensive to me because I hope that it's a fake injury <laughs> instead of a real one. So that doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. Um. Well, <sighs> Yanks Rays. It was a good series. Yanks took another series, and I can't complain about it. Um, first game was ace versus ace. We had Garrett Cole versus Shane McClanahan. Um, you can't – when you're pitching to Anthony Rizzo when there's two strikes, the, the last thing you want to do is throw something down the middle of the plate, and McClanahan's usually very good about this. Unfortunately, he hung a fastball. Right, well, I wouldn't say hung. He like rifled the fastball. It was ninety eight down the middle of the plate. Rizzo turned on it for his ninth home run of June. Um, he's been on fire recently, but I feel like, like he hits and it's his. If you look at his average, it won't reflect that though. The guy's only batting like two two ten for his average. Um, Garrett Cole had a no hitter. Another flirted with a no hitter through. This was through. Through seven innings, it got broken up in the eighth inning. Um, Glaber Torres scored. It was 2 nothing Yanks. Holmes comes in and one run scores, so it was 2-1. And then Holmes let up another run, and it actually ended up tying the game. Um, that was Holmes' first earned run since opening day for him. Um, his streak came to an end at 31 and a third of innings. Uh, yeah, first first run since opening day. And then in the ninth inning, the Yanks turned it up. Um, Aaron Hicks had an RBI triple that unfortunately Manuel Margot got hurt on out there in right field. He, like, slammed into the wall. Um, and then Jose Trevino had a sack fly. It was 4-2. That put the Yankees in a good spot to win. I think Wandy Peralta ended up coming in and getting the save. Um, that made the Yanks the first team to 50 wins. So the Yanks were the first team to 50 wins. A couple stats here. Um, Yanks are the only you – know, like, there's only two other Yankee teams that have reached 50 wins faster. That was 1939 and 1928. And also, this is, like, nuts to me. The Yankees lead the league in the record, obviously, with the 50 wins at this point. But the run differential is plus 145, 145 runs, and they have 111 team home runs. And only the Dodgers are close to them in run differential and the Braves in home runs, which is shocking because the Braves haven't been that good all season. Mm -hmm. um, another little tidbit real quick. Judges 25 home runs in 68 games trailed only Mickey Mantle in 1956 and Babe Ruth in 1928, who both hit 27. 
So he's on pace for an outstanding season still. He's been in a little bit of slump recently. And when I say slump, I don't mean he's playing bad. He's not using the entire field. His last couple of hits have all been like home runs. Like he's been hitting home runs, but not hitting singles and stuff. He's been striking out a lot more recently. Um, game two, Nestor got the start. Unfortunately, he got shelled. Um, they went back to back in the bottom of the first, and then DJ hit a uh, two RBI single. Um, Isaac Paredes had an amazing series for the Rays. They got him from Detroit. He was like the number two or three prospect in Detroit system, and now he's starting for them. He hit his second home run, put the Rays up 3-2, and then he hit his third home run later on. It was Then he made it 5-2. The Yankees came a little bit of a comeback effort in the ninth inning. Marlon Gonzalez had a two-run home run, made the score five to four, and then we put Aaron Judge into pinch hit. I don't, I forgot who we pinch hit for, but he missed a home run by maybe three feet. Mm-hmm. He hit a ball to the warning track, and the guy ended up catching it in left field. So Yankees dropped that game five to four. Um, we go to game three. This was another great game, another fun game to watch. Um, prospect by Del Brujan. He's playing up. He's playing right field. He's taking Manuel Margot's spot since he got hurt. Hits a two-run home run in the bottom of the first. And then Paredes hit another home run, his fourth in two games. Uh, Judge hit another. All right. So remember last time I said this, when Judge wasn't in the lineup, he came back and hit two home runs the next day? Well, he did it again. Like, I, I think if I go back and find it, there's definitely a stat out there that says it, but he hit another home run. The first one was a line drive into left field. Um, Stanton was playing right field this today, actually, and you know his DH is a lot. He doesn't really play the field, but he should. He looked good. He had – he almost threw a guy out at second base after that. He was called out in the review, changed and got it safe, and then the next inning he threw a guy – he actually did throw the guy out who was called safe, and then on the review was called out, so they switched. Um. Stanton scored on Taylor Wall's error, who's statistically the worst player in the major leagues, actually. Um, he threw it oh, like he threw it to G-Man Choi, but I guess he couldn't scoop it. It was a low pit and low ball. Um, then Judge's second home run of the night. You know what tro- the Tropicana field looks like, right? It's the one with the dome and has all the things. His ball went over the band, like I don't know what they're called, but the this I guess. The catwalks up there went over the catwalk, hit the ceiling, and fell straight down. That's how high you hit that ball into. That was his second home run of the day. Mm-hmm. Um. So Yankees take a five-four lead after Jose Trevino. It was three-two, no outs, guy on first. Ball comes in. Right down the middle of the plate, Isaiah kind of play for stealing. Jose Trevino pimps one. He walked all the way to first base with the bat in his hand and then tossed it in the air. And that's how the Yankees ended up winning the game by four. So another series win, another good series to watch. The Yankees are moving on. Now we're playing the Astros. The Astros are going from New York to New York, playing the Mets. Now they're in Yankees. As I'm talking this, the Astros are currently up six to three. After an Alex Bregman and Jordan Alvarez three-run home runs, Stan also has a home run in that game, but that's for the next episode. So I appreciate everyone coming out here and watching. Thank you once again. Sean, thank you for coming, being a part. See you next time.